Hey everyone, my name is Caleb Nichols. I'm co-founder and director of coffee at Wonder State Coffee. Uh, we're a roastery located in rural western Wisconsin. And I'm super excited to be here in season seven leaderboard uh, and participating with one of my personal favorite coffees. Um, as many of you might have guessed, this is a coffee from Ethiopia from the Worka Shell Bessa Kabele. Um, it's a privately owned washing station purchased by Naguse Dabala, who is also the owner of his own exporting company called Snap. Snap owns a washing station. They mill and export the coffee. We've been buying it since 2018 when they first opened the washing station. And yeah, it's been one of our uh, favorite coffees that we bring in. Um, Ethiopian general um, always produced for me my personal favorite coffees and we're really excited to showcase some of the flavors that we're getting in this one. I just want to brew it up a little bit and we can taste it together. Um, we just brewed up a little bit of Shell Bessa and I'd love to just sip a little bit of it and we can talk about uh, how this lovely coffee is tasting. Um, yeah, I mean for us Ethiopian coffees are, again, the pinnacle of coffee experiences. This coffee for me is no exception. Um, yeah, right off the bat, I'm hit with just really intense floral aromas. For me, these are these really hallmark traits of exceptional washed Ethiopian coffee. Um, the range and florality I get a little bit of uh, like rose petal notes and arranging into jasmine and even at times we've got like a little bit of chamomile it's like just a little hint of um, like a uh, fresh picked uh, apricot and stone fruit quality can range into a little bit of uh, grapefruit citrus or even uh, lemon citrus tones in the expression of the acidity Again, just like crystalline structure, really lovely, impeccable, sparkly acidity, um, intense flavors that really carry onto your palate for a really long time. I also get like a really nice little um, hint of like black tea, like an Assam tea. It's just, you kind of tease a little bit of prettiness, a little bit of florality. Um, yeah, and this is, for us, this is what we look for in our washed Ethiopians, just almost mystical, ethereal, intense, sweet, and epitomizing what we think of as a clean coffee. All right, so I just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about why this coffee is so delicious. Um, it comes from Southern Ethiopia, from the uh, Gedeo zone, which is about a 12 hour drive south of Addis Ababa. Um, it's a pretty long, bumpy ride if you've ever done it. So I have this lovely little map that my friend Tim Hill put together from uh, when he was at his time at Counterculture. And it's one of the most detailed maps of this little zone, of the Gadeo zone, um, that I found. It also illuminates the coffee zones really, really well. This coffee shell, Bessa, comes from Gadeb, which is the southernmost Woreda here in Gadeo. Gadeo has nine different Waredas, Gadeb being the southernmost one, and we have Worka Shelbessa is the northernmost Kabele. In this area, you find just incredible altitudes, some of the higher altitudes that we see uh, in all of the Gedeo zone, uh, ranging from like 1900 to 2300 meters. Um, those high altitudes, again, slow down maturation, stress the plants out a little bit, and help develop really dense um, compact seeds with tons of sweetness and tons of clarity and complexity. You know, as you go up in altitude, typically we see uh, seeds getting a little bit more dense and small. So we see that going in here. So some of the highest, highest altitude lots are going to have pretty small seeds. The other thing, as we all know, is that um, variety plays a big impact in seed size. 
And in this particular area, um, there's two varieties that are really planted almost ubiquitously, and that is the um, JARC variety 74110 and 74112. Locally, those varieties go by um, Kudume, being 74110, and Woli Show are the local names for those varieties. We noticed in the 1970s, they started actually propagating these varieties into this, this zone, in the Gideo zone, they planted mostly 74110 and 74112. And, you know, as you look at this, we see particularly small seeds that are most likely a very high percentage of that kudume, which is one of my favorite varieties in all of the world. Uh, I just want to take you on a little tour and we'll show you the roasters that we use to develop this coffee. This is our production facility. We have two roasters here. This is a 90 kilo vintage ProBot. And this is the roaster that we use for the leaderboard coffee. There's a 30 kilo uh, vintage ProBot from around the 1930s. We're not quite sure. Um, we named her Blender Frau. And when we got her, she was all original. We did add, as you can see, three different thermocouples measuring different aspects of the roasting process. And we also added a variable speed fan here, which helps give us really nice control over the airflow that we're using throughout the roasting process. Um, again, yeah, we, we use the smaller roaster for most of our single origin coffees, just gives us really nice responsivity and um, detail during that roasting process. And um, she's also just so pretty that we like to use her. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you so much for including us in the leaderboard this year and stay tuned for the next season.